Pitt, 41, and Tennessee, 34. This was a fun ball game to keep track of early. And and I don't know, uh, Pitt, you know, post-game win expectancy, Pitt was supposed to win it 92% of the time based on the stats. Field position was right. equal, uh, points per opportunity. Pitt had nine scoring opportunities in this game. <laughs> like, I, I will... I do want to commend Pat Narduzzi for not just being old man football, right? He brought right. in offense coordinator Mark Whipple, and, and he completely revamped that pit offense, and he realized, much like Nick Saban, we've seen the transition for Saban, and, and a, bunch of, a bunch of other defensive head coaches that have realized you cannot win all the games by playing smash-mouth offense and defense, right? We can still have a really good defense, but you are going to have to be able to put up points sometimes. And and they figured it out. Like, they are putting up points. Mark Whipple, the former UMass coach, is now their offense coordinator. He's in year three. Kenny Pickett has been there for like eight years. Uh, Ghost Dogs at Pitt and Tennessee game was really good. Yes, it was. this was a fun game. And Knoxville looked like they were rocking, man. Listen, I, I was, I was Tennessee's going to be so much better than they've been in the past. They really are. I think that Pitt team's really good. They might be the second best team in that conference. You're not wrong. Here's Here's the thing. There's only one thing that I saw in this game that made me so happy. There's only one. Joe Milton dropped back, and he threw a 70-yard bomb for a touchdown, and it was an absolute laser. And I well, thought that, that wasn't Milton, was it? Uh, yes, that was Milton. No, I thought it was uh, Hendon Hooker because they brought in Hooker. Milton only had 50 yards passing, and he had no touchdowns. No, that was Hooker. Yeah, so and Milton Milton went 7 out of 12 for 50 yards, and, and they brought bitch. in Hooker, 15 out of 21, 188 yards, two touchdowns. Oh, Hooker's to do this giant, right? Well, both of them are, both of them are big. But, well, yeah, but Hooker's, the, got, all right, Hooker's got arms. Yeah, Milton's both of them do. built like yeah. a big boy, but he's not. he doesn't have like that definition to him. Right, Hooker, yeah. Hooker looks like a prize fighter. Yeah I, could, yeah, I could see that. He was the okay. one that was at Virginia Tech last year. Okay, so he's the one that threw the touchdown. Shit, man, you know how bad I want Milton to be good. I, I know, just want him to be good. But it, look, here's he's, the deal. All right, he's like, not good. I got, I got, man, that makes me feel like race. I just thought they were both the same guy. Well, I mean, they, I thought it was, I thought it was Milton. <laughs> it made me happy. It made me happy. Okay, it made me happy. It was a lie, but it made yeah. me happy. No, I can understand that. Uh, Lies Ghost, made me happy. Actually. Ghost Dog said Tennessee much improved this year. Yeah, no, they they do. Hypo, Hypo is going to win games there. Yes. Is, is he going to win the East? No, just calm down. Maybe in a couple of years. But the 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 hate on Hypo when he got hired is is just was not not justified at all. Yes, uh, Pittsburgh's defensive front one point six seven havoc rate, really good. Really good. Really they were able good. To, they were able to create chaos. Now, of course, but these that's, two coaches. On, but that's what that's what Pitt and Matt Narduzzi and them do. They yeah. just play defense that suffocates you, and it's chaotic. Yes, yes, indeed. It, you're you're not wrong about that. So yes, Pitt much improved. And cheers to Pat Narduzzi for opening up this offense, figuring out that you, you're gonna have to do some different stuff here and there to be able to win. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.